I say by 2040, we gonna have like robots like normally. Think about it, bro. The, we not far off for some horny nigga making a freaking sex robot like oh. a freaking Rick and Morty. Oh no, no, uh, far off. No, we're close. There's about to be a genius that's gonna make that shit, <laughs> and there's gonna be a lot of horny niggas that's, that's gonna, gonna buy that shit. shit. Like a lot, a lot of horny rich niggas. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you know it's not that, that hard. That okay, okay this nigga has been talking about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> nigga been thinking about it. This nigga's the horny nigga. That's the horny nigga. I found him, y'all. I found him. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Because you told me. I really just thought about this in my mind. Just okay, now. sure, bro. Because this nigga talking about something. It's not that hard. Hold on. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> Prize picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS as sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangster. This is your intro? Hmm? This is your intro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Keep playing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? I was you... putting that in my story, but now I'm going to play for real, real. What do you mean your story? Oh, boy, you take a picture of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's for you. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Damn. Even when you with my boo, you know I'm crazy. You know what we look, you, you look, Loki look like, bro? Who? You might be like, uh, you kind of dress like Wait, R. Kelly, started? bro. Yeah, we started. Oh, shit. What's good, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> you dress like R. Kelly, bro. Huh? So we're not dressed yo, like R. Yo, Kelly. Yo, Do back not to another episode. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I'm not podcast. dressed like R. Kelly at all. <laughs> Don't violate. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number. Rich, do you know? 168. Wow, that's so bad. 164. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I'm here with. Fritz, a.k.a. R. Kelly. Yo, I am your boy. Soldier your boy. boy. Yeah. You're Soldier Boy? That's I'm who you are? Yeah, I don't like Soldier nah, Boy. Nah, that's a bad fit, bro. That's a bad Soldier Boy fit. How? No, I got the baggy, the you got baggy, the baggy jersey you got with the, the baggy, long sleeve? Yeah, with the long sleeve. And the headband? I just need the... I didn't have the glasses. You don't got the glasses. That's Damn. literally iconic Soldier Boy shit. You don't that got shit. the glasses. That's not... You're not Soldier Boy right now. That shit ass, bro. But you do like R. Kelly. But y'all know I'm not R. Kelly. <laughs> y'all know who I am, though. Y'all know who I am. If y'all know that song, y'all know who I am. Hey, you feel me? I look like I look. I I think I there's a pretty good like. There's a pretty good costume, don't you think? I don't think it's that bad. You don't think it's that bad, right? Yeah. I think- like I had to cut the band aid and everything. Like, Why'd you have to cut the band aid? Because the band aid was too paused. The band aid <laughs> was too thick. It was like taking up too much from. Really? My face. Yeah. So you had to cut the thing. I cut what it. What kind of what type of band aid do you got? You got the thick band aids. Yeah, I guess so, my nigga. What the fuck? What you don't got crazy? the skinny ones? That's like your nah. I head? don't have that, bro. I don't know why. Dang, that's crazy. That's just weird, bro. But like, yeah. But I mean, it looked good so far. It no, looked it's good. Good, it's a good costume. It's a pretty good but costume. If y'all watching this, people, this is the Halloween episode. Happy Halloween to everybody. Hopefully, everybody is safe and not doing no mischievous things. We do not condone none of that. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like all that down below. Push post notifications and we have a very special episode for y'all today we're going back we got some scary stories we got some things to talk about with robots aliens and we got some games to talk about with that our halloween theme so if y'all like that tune into that shout out to all our sponsors shout out to seat geek use code no regulars if you're new to seat geek to get 20 dollars off any orders 50 dollars or more people the world series is coming around nba season just started there's rod wave concerts coming out aren't you going to the rod wave concert? yeah i am and guess what I huh? use code no yeah, regulars. I got to, bro. That's what I'm saying. So use code no regulars 
if you want $20 <laughs> off, $50 or more. And shout out to our other sponsor, Prize Picks. Use code no regulars for if you put $5 in, you get $50 back, guaranteed win, lose, or draw. The NBA season started. The Knicks got blown out yesterday. I almost cried. It looked like 2K, bro. It looked like that. It, it was looked, that bad. It looked like nobody was there. It was shooting <laughs> over them, bro. It was shooting. Wait, who was it playing? The Celtics, Celtics right? They, they, they like dropped like 10 threes in a row, innit? Bro. Not, not in a row, but like in one quarter. Yo, it was the third they quarter. Y'all, bro, we, it was 77 56, third quarter. I'm like, all right, this is where we turn around. By the time it was eight minutes, they made seven threes. Damn. That's crazy. They really cooked y'all niggas. Nah. Wait, Jalen Brunson was playing? Yes. We were all playing. And Cat? Yes. We were all playing. Oh, y'all niggas ass. Hey, Malik? bro. Yes. Mikel? Mikel? Was, yep, he was there. Nah, y'all ass. But you know what? We're not even going to talk about that because, you know, it's a work in progress. But you know what we are going to talk about? We work in progress about. is crazy. What bro. you mean, bro? Y'all was just in the playoffs. <laughs> okay, we got to get the rhythm back. Nah. We got to get that, team man. chemistry. Y'all niggas got cooked that We really got team. We need the team chemistry. Cat don't know if he should shoot or not. Freaking Mikel Bridges lost his jump shot in three months. Right. Shooting like he freaking then he dropped, then, then, then he averaged like 20 in, yes. in, in, in that. Yeah, in the but Brooklyn you know, Nets. it's gonna it's going to come. It's going to work. It's I gonna, believe it, yeah, in it. Just, we have four years. I yeah. have a four-year window. You got four a four-year year window. window. By four years, if we don't got nothing, blow it up. Blow it up? Yeah. What if we blow it up? Everybody gone. You all get <laughs> traded. Everybody. <laughs> Give me draft picks. I need somebody who's in the freshman in high school right now. Nah, that's OD. Yeah. That's OD. <laughs> blow it up, bro. But since this is the Halloween episode, Fritz, what do you think is the your favorite part about Halloween or your favorite memory from Halloween or worst memory from Halloween? Because I got a lot. Worst memory from Halloween. I right, I'm gonna say this, bro. I I didn't. I grew up not celebrating Halloween. Ah, uh, you didn't really celebrate. Halloween yeah, I didn't like really that. celebrate Halloween. Yeah, yeah. So I'll say the worst memory of Halloween. <laughs> the worst memory of, my, of me, uh, like literally me. Everybody, like ever since being a kid, like everybody just being dressed up. Do you remember in like third grade or whatever, yeah. fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you about to say? <laughs> Yo, you know, you remember in third grade, like, when people had the costume, I don't know if you remember, like, everyone was dressed up as you know, yeah. whatever uh-huh. they were dressed up as. And I guess their parents, everybody, like, parents was all around. Oh, like, you used to walk around Walk the thing? around the yeah. thing. We was walking outside, you know what I'm and saying? And then you'd have a costume on? And me and there's not, yeah, it was a parade. <laughs> I don't got no costume. <laughs> and me, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a gym track suit. So guess what? Hey, I said I was a gym teacher. For, for, <laughs> for, 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 yeah, they're, they're asking me where my whistle at. Oh, I forgot it at home. But I was so embarrassed, though. Like, wow. I was like, damn. Like, I don't damn. got no Halloween costume. Like, that shit ass. But, like, you know, as a kid, like, you're like, damn. Like I want to celebrate Halloween, you know. Like yeah, I get you. I'm a I'm a kid, but yeah. like you know, parents, you know, parents and shit like yeah, that. But yeah. now I could do whatever the fuck I want. And right? now you are Kelly. And now I'm Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> but like best Halloween, co- best Halloween uh memory memory. I don't think I got one for real. Like I don't really like. Just now, now it's crazy because I don't really care for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, right? you just there. I'm just there. Just there for the vibes. Yeah. I gotta. I actually gotta. I don't know if I... T- I think I told you about this bad Halloween memory. It was... Th- it was. I will never forget this. It was fifth grade, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 people, if y'all are real OGs of the podcast, y'all know this story. Yeah. This was fifth grade. And for me, you know, I'm not the type of person that... I'm a, I was a very creative kid. Yeah. So, like, I never really had, like... I never... Like, of course, I was, like, the, the ninjas and, like, the whatever. Yeah. But... There was there was a couple of Halloweens where I wanted like mm-hmm. different costumes. I remember it started in fourth grade, right? So uh, my mom, there was no, they didn't have no Super Mario costumes out there yet. So my mom made one. Right. So, but fifth grade, so I was like, okay, my mom's gonna make me another costume. I wanted to be Chowder from uh, <laughs> Chowder from you know the show from Car- Cartoon Network, right? Right. So I had I, I dressed up as Chowder, and I, <laughs> and I remember we went outside for the little parade thing. And I remember this. I'll never forget the guy's name. I'm not gonna say it here, but I know. I know. I, that's the, the only reason I know him. He walked up to me. He's like, "Who the fuck are you supposed to be?" <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know what to tell him. Wait, wait, hold on. The guy. Wait, is it? It's already K, right? No, no. It's uh, I forgot what his name was. My uh, Michael Beckett. Why did you say his name? You're not gonna watch this. Oh, it was it was Michael Beckett. <laughs> yes, bro. He looked at me. He said, "What the fuck you?" And he, I still remember. He was a hockey player. Oh. And he looked at me. He said, "What the fuck are you supposed to be?" <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Because Nerves was a chubby ass kid know, back in the day. Bro, so I was, he probably did not <laughs> chowder. I probably look I ain't gonna lie, I probably did look crazy. You probably did look crazy. Wait, were you purple? Yes, I was purple. Oh no, you're a loser. <laughs> did you have the hat? Oh no, you're a loser. Oh no, nah, dead ass. Bro. I had the hat, and Chowder had a tooth that stuck out. That so my stuck... mom painted the tooth right here. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> what you mean? It's not fire? No, nah, that's fire. That is fire. I'll give you that. <laughs> but like, you deserve to get bullied, bro. You deserve to get that's bullied. That's not good. Good creativity. Nah, that's great creative creativity. But like, you deserve to get bullied. I deserve to get bullied. It's yeah, because like you're trying to war to war. What you, you know mean? What like nobody at that time, nobody probably really watched Chowder for real. That's crazy. And work, like, you was just, you was if just, there's a Chowder costume right now, I'm with y'all people. I'm with whoever. Nah, I watching. doubt you're. I think you're the only person that ever <laughs> dressed as Chowder, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. But like you were, I feel like in fifth grade, like all the chubby kids should dress as because <laughs> he was bad chubby. And so I, like, I wasn't that big, bro. Now nah, you was pretty big, bro. No, I wasn't. I wasn't that big. Dude, Y'all got pretty it. fucking big, bro. bro. You was just mad skinny. Yeah, but like he was friends, was, friends with those kids in, in middle school, and elementary school. They used to be like, oh yeah, when gym class go around, he's the first one to. to I was in there, bro. He was the first one to win the mile and stuff. I was like, in bro. there. I was in that. I was. You feel me? I jump high, run fast. I'm, I was just like that. Oh, you bro. cool? Yeah. You can't do that now. Nah, I can't. But yo, <laughs> Dude, look where it got bro, you. You know what's crazy, bro? That that shit's ass, bro. <laughs> because like, <laughs> there was I I grew up like being always faster than this nigga. Nah, this nigga faster than me. I never want to race this nigga again, bro. Exactly. Fuck this nigga, bro. You can if you big right now and chubby, you can overcome anything yeah. with hard work. I I was out there in the freaking on vacation running in the sand, bro. Yeah, that's to nigga. get my to, <laughs> to get, get better, your bro. To get your uh. <laughs> speed up bro. yeah bro but one of the memories that i do that i enjoy from halloween is not really like the candy and like the trick or treating but it's watching the 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 halloween episodes oh that's that that is that is uh, damn how did i forget that bro i'm not gonna that lie that is actually a great memory bro yo there was a lot of there was a lot of, great cartoons. a lot of great cartoons i don't know if you remember halloween specials i don't know if you remember there was a cart there was a there was a cartoon movie that came out on cartoon network every year for halloween it was something about um, it was like a witch and it was like a little girl and she always used to like it was like a Halloween house like Halloween town I forgot what it was called hold on with the, with the, with the dude that if he smiled too hard his face would get stuck. yeah what was that called what the fuck is Something. It? hold on I'm about to look it up right now Halloween cartoon scary godmother scary godmother scary godmother oh yes, that bro. shit uh, niggas used to like um that witch right yeah the witch bro that, that shit that, she was fine she was fine <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Maybe that's not the one I'm talking about. Wait, then. I'm. Uh, wait, I think he's talking. I think we're talking about the same thing. Scary wait, Godmother. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. I think it's definitely Scary Godmother. No, no, it's yeah, it's scary. No way, it was this one. The, it's this the, one. The one with the red hair. Yeah, it's this nah, one. It wasn't, okay, that's okay, that's not the one, one but. Okay, okay, yeah, because this I remember right? this one. Definitely remember this one. Every single time, Halloween, bro. Every single time in school, niggas would niggas would watch that. Yep, that's that's a great. That, you know what's crazy? The amount of times I watched that movie, I don't remember shit about it. <laughs> Seriously, bro, I don't even remember that kid being like that Evil? kid. He being yeah, just a dickhead all the time. Yeah. And, I, I, forget, I don't remember like the plot. Like I really, it don't. was it was and I honestly it probably a hundred times. It was honestly about like the little. It was like the little girl and her older brother was the dickhead. Oh, that was her older brother. Yeah, but like I think she found like a like a Halloween person or some 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 ghost and they became friends and then he met he brought her to like the scary godmother and then they just started doing like uh, adventures and stuff like. Oh really? It was yeah, it was like because I did, I forgot there was two movies. There was two different movies. There was Scary Godmother, Halloween, Spookathon, and then there was like Scary Godmother, Re- Revenge of Jimmy. Oh. Because that's when he hated Halloween. He wasn't, he didn't, like, he was just doing like the mischievous stuff. Yeah. With the yeah, with the pumpkins and stuff. Oh, yo, that's crazy. Niggas is unlocking the memory right yeah, now. Yeah, bro. Because, like, I really. I did think she fuck, was fine. It was awesome. You're weird. <laughs> yeah, because that, that girl, that girl's not it. Yo. <laughs> She's skitty as hell, bro. But, nah. So, that's one of my. <laughs> well, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's true. No, nah, that's true. That's true. My bad. My bad. You're right. But so yeah. But since we was talking about that, right? I have a blind ranking for you, Fritz. And we're gonna blind rank um kids Halloween episodes. 
Or from one, so it's one to six. So one is the best, and six is like the worst out of the bunch. I know you're gonna put Zach and Cody all the way in episode there. I don't know, man. No, nah, I know you're. Right. I don't know, but you, know, you ready? Yeah. Let's so the first, I'm letting you know now. This is a pretty there's there's a pretty stack it's lineup. It's stack stack lineup. So I'm letting I you know now. It. I'm not gonna be that person. I'm gonna let you know. So number one is Billy and Mandy's jacked up Halloween. Mm. You remember that one? Was it the one was with the, the Jack O'Lantern? Can I can I speak? Man? Oh my fault. Let, let me let me tell you which one it is, bro. I'm because sorry. that shit was scary as hell. <laughs> I remember that one when he cut off his own head. Yep. That shit was scary. Yeah, it was scary. That was a scary episode. Damn. That's up there. Yep. But that shit was scary. Mm. Yo, that I ain't gonna lie, but I, I'm gonna be honest. Billy and Mandy's Christmas one is probably scarier. Oh yeah, with the with, with the vampire, with vampire the Santa, Santa vampire. Yeah, no, I that, like that shit was was probably scary. Um, but I mm, I'll give that. I played the game too. Yep. On the, oh yeah, the game. The game? Yeah, right, come on, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I forgot you was a computer on, kid for real. Um, I'll give, I'll put down four. Four. Yeah. Okay. I'll put down four. Four. All right. That's pretty, that's a pretty good one. That was a good one. Next one is the one that you're talking about. Sweet Life is Zach I and Cody. I fucking knew it, bro. I that knew it. That scary ass episode. I knew it. Um, damn, what, what was the episode when? Uh, was it when the paintings or like the pictures were moving around and ghosts? That yep. ghost. Um, it was the it was the haunted uh hotel hotel room. Hotel room. Haunted yeah, hotel I remember. Room. I remember that one. Yep. Hmm. I'll put that three. Three? I'll put that three. All right, that's cool. That's I knew cool. I knew Zach and Cody was going to be there. I knew it was going to be on three. All right. Next one is the iCarly Halloween episode. The one where Spencer told them about the haunted uh, apartment, and they were doing like a little vlog in there, like a ghost hunter vlog. I don't remember that too, like, too crazy. I don't, like, I don't remember what happened. So I'll put that at five. Oh, it's one to six. Oh, six? Yeah, six. Uh, okay, I'll put it at five. You'll put it at five? Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's going to be worse. Actually, no. Nah, I think I should put it. To be safe, I think it's going to be six. Six? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the Fairly Odd Parents one. The one where it was uh, Scary Godparents. I like that one. Do you know you know what I'm talking about? Scary Godparents? That's the one where... Do you remember those two rich kids? They had like... Their costumes were like giant robots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's going to be... Damn. I think that might be five though. It was like when Timmy wanted like a cool costume and stuff because all the rich people had like the tough costumes and he had some booty stuff. He was looking at like they literally pulled up in Jack O' Lantern like um, robots. And I think the robots started like attacking. Like no, he asked for it. He you know, asked for his costume to be real. Think about. He asked for his costume to be real. And then they ended up making everybody else's costume real. So then the Jack O' Lanterns actually turned oh, into turned real in robots. Jack, okay, I think I do remember what you talk about. Yeah, yeah. So if they if somebody was a witch, they were yeah, actually was a an witch. actual witch. Yeah. I think that should be. I don't know, bro. That might be five. Five. Yeah, that might be five. Okay, okay. I might put that five. We got two more left. We got two more left. Next one, and you have so you have one, two, and oh I yeah, got you one, just two. got one and two left. So next one is the Jimmy Neutron episode. That's the one where uh, Jimmy turned all his friends into like werewolves and to zombies and like mummies and stuff like that. Damn, do I remember that? One? If you look up, just look at the the hollow Jimmy Neutron Halloween episode. It was literally they turned into like monsters for Halloween. Like they were actually like I, that's when Sheen was a werewolf. I don't know if you remember that. That junk was. I, oh yeah, and Carl was Dracula. I remember this one. Yep. I remember. Oh shit! The pizza one. Yep. That was the pizza one. Yeah. With the. Was with, that the same one? With the. Was that with the scary pizza? Let me see. With the scary pizza. No, I think because. You nah, know that's they, a different one. Because you know they always that's had a two. Different one. I think they always had two episodes. I think that's a different episode. That's not the pizza one. Okay. Shit. Uh. Shit. I think I fucked up the list. I'm gonna put that as two though. Two. Yeah. All right. So what you got so far? You got. At six, you have iCarly's Halloween episode. Five, you got Fairly Odd Parents. Four, you got Billy, Man- Billy and Mandy's Jacked Up Halloween. Three, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Two, Jimmy-, Jimmy Neutron. And at number one, you have the Ed, Ed, and Eddie special. That's the one when they were they had a they had a map to Halloween Town, 
and they were trying to look for it. And that's when like you seen like the big ass plank was like Frankenstein. I did not see the fucking the, the Ed and Eddie. Really, uh, bro? Halloween. Hold on. So I've only seen the Ed, Christmas one. Ed and Eddie. I do remember this uh, when Sheen. When he was a werewolf. When he bro. became a werewolf. Yeah, I remember that. You don't remember this? When freaking Double D was dressed up like a like a germ. I do remember that was a Halloween. That was a Halloween special. Oh shit! I do remember that, but I don't remember like the the plot the of it. The plot of it, nah. It was like they were trying to. They found, they had a map, and there was that's where all the candy was. Right. So they were trying to go through like town to find it, and every time they went somewhere, it was like an actual monster. So like Plank was like a freaking giant ass Frankenstein. Frankenstein. And then Damn. that's when freaking um Ed was having like flashbacks or something, and he was getting scared as hell. Damn, I don't, I don't remember. You don't that, remember bro. that? Yo. That shit crazy, bro. I'm losing my memory, bro. You getting old, bro? I'm getting old. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the, this is like I love the freaking um the Halloween episodes, bro. Like I was like when I was looking up which, shows. W- which ones were better though? The the Halloween episodes or like the Christmas? Episodes? The Christmas episodes. <sighs> low key, I literally. I'm not gonna lie. Low key. I I couldn't wait till Christmas because like TV. The Christmas like I one? could I couldn't wait to watch the TV Christmas specials. Oh, I'm dead ass. You I, know I couldn't what? wait. I, I uh, go ahead. I'll go with Christmas. I'll go with the Christmas specials because it was a lot more cheery. Yeah. And like it's like added on with like you get presents and stuff and you get Where? hot cocoa, the snow. Like Halloween was good though. Don't get me like I don't know if you remember there was a freaking Billy and Mandy movie. It was called the, um, it was like, remember, remember the dude with the, the chainsaw for a hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was him and Irwin, mm-hmm. the black, and mm-hmm. they, they was fighting off against a, like a bunch of chocolate bars. Mm-hmm. I do remember that one. That movie was freaking fire, I, I do bro. remember that one. I forgot what it was but called. But like, I it feel was, like, I feel like when it comes to like Halloween shit, Halloween movies. Yeah. I think Halloween movies, nah. I think Halloween movies have like take the cake low key. Really? I don't know. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think because I remember you, I remember just literally watching Polar Express all the time every year. I didn't bro. like Polar Express like I that. I didn't like it. So oh wait, I hate just, like just, like Christmas. That's Christmas though. What wait what? Polar Express is crazy. No, I, Polar Express is tough. Polar Express goes hard. Yeah, it does. But like, we they were spamming it. Tell me there was a spam in Polar they, Express every Christmas. They, 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 they were. They were. It was spam, every it was every Christmas. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I, I was already getting tired of it, bro. Uh, and they, they could have watched. I mean, we could have, wa- like, made some. It was either Polar Express or. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before. No, nah, no. Nah, Scrooge. Scrooge. Oh, the. Christmas Carol. Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. Yeah. Spamming it. Yeah. I was getting fucking tired of it. That's the only reason why I liked like Christmas movies or uh, Halloween movies better than Christmas movies. So do you like Halloween more than Christmas? No, hell no. So you like Christmas more than Halloween? Yeah, yeah. But like just, when it comes to show, when it comes to shows and like, like you said, like it's more cheery yeah. during Christmas and it, you know, presents and shit like that. Like when it comes to watching TV, I would watch like every, everything when it comes to Christmas. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. Halloween shit was, it was just better. Yeah, when when it came to uh, movies, mm-hmm. but not like everything else. Like movies, take when it comes to Halloween, like takes the cake. But everything else was all Christmas. Yeah, I get. What you I, mean. I just couldn't watch. I just there wasn't really a lot. There was probably I guess Home Alone. Yeah. Uh, Elf, but like that Elf was, was like, when we was a little older. Like, yeah, you know. I mean, um, the, the one I remember is the freaking Rudolph movie, the cartoon Rudolph. Right, movie. and the cartoon, I, I, but I didn't watch that crazy amount. Yeah. And it was uh and it was all oh grandma got ran over by reindeer. Yeah. That was pretty tough. You know you know what I realized, bro? Uh, I was a real loser when I was a kid. Yeah, no, you were. <laughs> like like to be <laughs> like like <laughs> Wait, why? like this we we talk like people we talk about Halloween, but on Christmas, bro, I remember what did you I was like Christmas, I was bro? like fourth grade, bro. Fourth, third grade, and I remember I had poster boards. So I used to write Merry Christmas. Yeah, this thing is a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> I used to write Merry Christmas to like different cartoon shows. And I used oh, to die. Nah, yeah, die. Nah, you're a. <laughs> this thing is such a good kid. Like, 
<laughs> Yo, I promise you, it was like Merry Christmas, Nickelodeon, Merry Christmas. Garden. Are you serious? Yeah, I swear to God, I swear it was all over the crib, bro. <laughs> my, I, I know my dad looked at me like, "What the hell is wrong with this kid?" I just think theirs was like a good ass kid. Like That's, yeah. Merry Christmas, Nickelodeon. Merry bro, Christmas. The spirit of Christmas really <laughs> nah, it, me, it, does, it does overwhelm me, bro. Like it's it's a great feeling. Like when you know Christmas is coming, like it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Like it, it feels great, bro. But oh. like, yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't. I would never do you're that not shit. With me? Like that. No, I'm not with you. Damn, you're bro. on your own with I, that. I'm one. not cool. No, you're a loser, bro. <laughs> okay, but it's okay though. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You don't do it anymore, right? No, of okay. course not. Okay, he put them all away. Oh, okay, he put them all away. You, he was there before. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga said it was up before when I got here. I try, I try. But all right, I got a, I got another game since we were talking about movies, right? Right. So I have a bracket for you, Fritz. So it's basically I have a bunch of Halloween movies and they're going up against each other. I'm going to name two of them and you're going to tell me which one you could survive the longest, like which one you would rather be in in 24 hours to survive in. Halloween movies? Yeah, Halloween movies. Okay. So the first movie I had, so the first group, like the first seed in the first round, it would be Halloween or Smile. Which movie would you try to last 24 hours in? Mm, smile is difficult. Did you watch the second one? Nope, I didn't watch it yet. You watched the first one? Yep, I watched the first one. It was OD. It was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Halloween is Michael, Michael Myers, Myers, right? Yep, Michael Myers. See, Smile is so. It, it might be. It might be Smile. I mean, it might be uh, Halloween. That like, like a last because Smile is like something. It's, it's a demon game. Yeah, it's literally something. Smile is literally something chasing after you, and the only way for you to get rid of it is like you kill somebody. You kill somebody, yourself. right? I think, or like, or or I think it comes, I think it gets to you and then it ends up killing you. That's how bad it is. But like, I think they try, I think they finessed it or something like that. But it's either that or you got to survive Michael they Myers. They did finesse it in the end, right? They did, but then it was like a plot twist at the yeah, end. It was, and then a, he, it, was just, it was just, I forgot about the ending, but um, yeah. it might be Michael Myers because it's a lot like, smile, smile is so like, so like hard. It's hard. Yeah. Like, I, I, like at least Michael Myers, like, I could see the nigga. Yeah, I get what you mean. And, like, I could, like... It's not, really, like, everything it's, around it's you. It's physical. Like, it's physical. Yeah. You, you feel me? I, I, I'll do Michael Myers. All right, all right, all right. So, the next one, we have Saw. Oh, we have Saw or The Quiet Place. Okay. F oh. oh, that's hard. That's hard. Okay, so Saw, I'm already in there. Yep. Like, you get kidnapped and you're already in the freaking games. Shit. Damn. Yep. See the thing about Saw though, I I think I might die either way. But I think I'm I'd rather die <laughs> from them quiet place aliens. But think about it, in the quiet place, it's only you're only in there for twenty four hours, so you just gotta be in there for a day. It's not like you're living in there for the rest of your oh, life. You're right. So it's just a day. So I gotta be quiet for just a day. Yeah, just a day. Dang, can I do that? I could probably, <laughs> I could probably do that. I but hope like, so. But like, saw, saw. I don't think you're lasting a day. He's not gonna give you a whole day to like. Yeah, nah. To like, fuck. You know, you're gonna be hurting. Do, you're gonna be hurting. You're gonna lose or a couple gonna fingers. Be yeah. You're gonna lose a couple fingers. You're gonna lose a couple limbs. Yeah. Your so teeth I, might be gone. Yeah, I think it might be. Definitely gonna be quiet place. Quiet place. Okay, definitely. okay. Next, the next round, we got Final Destination or Chainsaw Massacre. See, Final Destination, that also is like a fate thing. Fate thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not something I could physically go against. Mm -hmm. So it definitely has to be Chainsaw Massacre. Chainsaw definitely. Massacre? Definitely. Okay, okay. And the last one in the first round, we have The Conjuring. Was it? I'm sorry. Uh, was it Chainsaw Massacre uh, based on a true story? Yeah. Well, it wasn't based on a true story. It was based, based on, on a true person. person. Ed Gein, right? Ed Gein, yeah. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. Was it? That's the big dude, right? No. That wasn't that the was big the guy. That was, Ed Gein was the guy who who obviously killed some uh, people, and he made, uh, like, chairs out of their skin. Yeah. He, oh. And he wore, yeah. He you actually did that? Oh yeah, you didn't know? No, I didn't. Yeah, know. he he made chairs. Um, he made chairs, couches, out of uh their his his uh victims' skins, oh. and he wore 
he wore one of the masks one of their masks because of his mother so like yeah. he had he had like this weird obsession obsession with his mom yeah right? his mom was like a um like a religious lady or something like that mm-hmm. and like once his mom died that's when he started going crazy yeah yeah so like once his mom died i think he kept did he keep his mom's body i'm not sure but like like um, her head or something yeah but i'm not sure yeah. but like yeah so basically he yeah i think he wore his mom's face to make to to you know try to make it seem like his mom is still with him yeah he just made bodies like not bodies but like chairs off of flesh uh clocks hell, yeah basically a whole room oh, full nah, of flesh that's bro. od that's whole OD. room full of flesh that's yeah. od yeah he's crazy bro okay but um what was it yeah, oh was so it? the next the last the last group in the fi- in the first round is the conjuring or it yeah i, I could definitely do i'm gonna do uh conjuring i'm living in a house right you're in the house for a day just might don't be, get it might it might just be scared be, as hell i think um, it might be be it you know why? Because it's just your fears? That yeah, it's just your fears. You just got to go against your fears, I'm guessing? Literally. Like, I think once you're not afraid of it, like Pennywise, mm-hmm. that's when, like, he actually, like, becomes, you know, small and shit. Like, he, yeah. it's not, he's not really scary and shit. But, like, I think I'm going to go against it, honestly. you take it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Conjuring in imagine being in that house for twenty four hours, bro. I know you're gonna see a lot of freaky stuff. Like, like it's over with. And it's not even like you just seen stuff, bro. They act, they gonna be throwing stuff at you. Throwing, yeah, word. Like they, gonna, I, they might possess you. I'm not living in that. House. I'm not like making it out. Yeah, nah. easily it. It's it? a fucking clown. I actually, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like clowns. That's what I'm saying. And, it's and not he even, might use my fears against me. Yeah, he will <laughs> use my fears against me. <laughs> Your fear of clowns against you? No, nah, not nah, my fear of clowns. Yeah. My fear of spiders. Oh, damn. My fear of heights. Oh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> he gonna get me, but I could do it for 24 hours. Okay, okay. So now you're in the final four. So the next group up, we have Halloween or The Quiet Place. The Quiet Place. No. For 24 hours. No. Halloween. Halloween? So no. Hold on. I mean, it's up hold to on, you. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. It's just, don't, don't, don't question it like that. Don't say oh, it like I'm just, that. I'm just making because sure. Because you're making me doubt myself. It might be, I might, I might say The Quiet Place. Quiet Place? Yeah, because like you said, I just have to stay quiet for, for 24 hours. I think I could do that too. Okay. All right. And the last matchup in the final four is It and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw. You gonna take Texas Chainsaw over it? Yeah. Okay. One question, bro. When it comes to the quiet place, how do they sleep? What you mean? What do you mean how they sleep? Like, you can't sleep quietly, bro. Well, you can, but like, what about? I snore a little bit, bro. I feel like there's. Imagine you always I, have to have, I feel like you always have to have somebody with you, so like they like might muffle you or something. Oh. So, I, but you're not. But that's not the scenario I'm in. I'm by myself. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, might be cooked, bro. Oh, so okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so they so made it a little. They bit made it. You can make a little bit of noise, I guess, but like, like I think they muffled it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like not too loud because now, like, if I like do a step, they're gonna come sprinting. You got, they gotta be in distance. No, okay. but like over time, they can still hear it, right, going along and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, but so the lat so now in the finals. We have Texas Chainsaw Massacre and A Quiet Place. Which one are you choosing to survive 24 hours in? You said Texas or The Quiet Place? Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre or A Quiet Place? A Quiet Place. You going to pick A Quiet Place? Yeah, because Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, if that guy's coming at me like for 24 hours, bro. Yeah. Like, that's exhausting. <laughs> like, <laughs> before, that's exhausting. Yeah. Spot. So like, and I have no time to sleep, n- and not ener- no energy. Yeah, no time to eat for real. But like, think about it, bro. But like, think of okay, okay. But it's like in the quiet place, you literally have to watch everything you do. You do, and it's like, damn, this thing could be charged. Like one step on a branch, this thing's charging out the woods. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's a, like at least it's a human. 
that I'm going with the fat ass chainsaw. That you you can outrun that you dude. You can out, I can't outrun that. You can't outrun that alien. I can't. Yeah, I'm not fast, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you want to race like that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, the chainsaw, oh, oh, you're not yeah, fast. The chainsaw is not fast. It's a fat. Ass, it's a fat ass chainsaw he got. Like, oh. oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll probably, so you do Texas chainsaw? I'll do Texas chainsaw. Okay, I feel like out of this whole that's list, that's true, bro. It, it is a human that I could like outrun. Like, yeah. but then again, too, like I think he wants you to be out. Like, wants you to be tired. Uh, I think he wants you. You know those people who like the chase. Oh, like they, they like yeah, the chase. Yeah, they yeah. like it's like a hunt for them. Yeah, they enjoy that. They stuff. literally enjoy that. There's people I've heard about some like fucking serial killers that literally give motherfuckers head starts. Oh yeah, just to, because they like the chase. It's like a hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like at the end of the day, bro. I'm not Usain Bolt, bro. That is true. I'm not, I don't have a limited stamina, bro. <laughs> At one point, I'm going to need to relax. I think that's when he's going to catch me lacking, bro. Once I'm like, nah, I'll probably, I'm probably mad far, bro. Let me relax, bro. Catch my breath. He's on my ass. Oh. I, but I, the thing is, though, I never watched the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but I don't know if he ran. No, he was it, running. He was running at niggas? He was running with that, with that chainsaw. With that chainsaw? Yeah, he was running. <laughs> like that's but still thing. though they them kids there's no way that i you can't outrun that man i don't want to believe it. chainsaws are still heavy as hell it he's is still, still a, yeah. he's still an actual like human, human being. being yeah so it's like like can i try to like kill him yeah you could kill him okay. you can try to kill him oh yeah but i, I don't know I if you're gonna outrunning. succeed with trying to kill him but you could try he do have the chainsaw but guess what bro you're right but like where 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 was it located actually at a farm yeah it was in a farm so uh, there's plenty of weapons at a farm that I could try to yeah, get. Yeah, you a could. rake or whatever, whatever the fuck they use. So he run out of gas. Huh? He's gonna run. Yeah, he's gonna run out of gas. I mean, yeah, I'm saying you could kill him. Bro, I could kill that. Nigga. All right, you can kill. You can kill him, bro. I could kill that. I can't kill those aliens. Like, that is a, true. There's oh no. wait. They can't swim. I can't swim. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. You, you're no, just no. as worse as the alien, no, I'm bad as them. God damn. Fuck. And they you was know, actually doing pretty decent. I don't know if you've seen the, 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 sec- one, the second one. The, oh, the one that just came out? Yeah. She was ass. That's, you think so, bro? I hated that movie. Really? Pissed me off. I'm like, what is okay, this? Okay, why? It wasn't because it was like so like. Sentimental. It was, yeah, there was a lot. Yeah. What the hell yeah, going it was on? Less, it was less action. I understand she got yeah. cancer, but like, yeah. damn, I'm like, where the action at? Yeah, and she was fiending for that pizza. She was blowing Yeah, I'm it. like, what you she, mean? Like, she like, relax. Like, I'm, She's I, like, I need I'm about to go get pizza. <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're dying here. She's like, like this, I'm about to die in two months. I need to eat this pizza. Nah, facts. Yo, you know, I was actually. A, annoyed by that i was so mad I like was, the guy's trying to save you and and aliens talking, all around and you're still, you're still talking, talking about, about some, pizza. some damn pizza and that one guy died and remember that one where he was fixing the little thing yeah bro come yeah, on yeah it, it was pretty it was pretty it was pretty it was it was pretty yeah it was it was pretty as compared to the other ones yeah the other ones was fire but like was cool. the, this one yeah this one blew my shit i didn't like it my friend was talking about it was a great movie it's, it was cinematic great, great is crazy bugging i don't know i'll give it like a six no bro. seven but i have some scary stories to tell you bro you know what it's been a while since you brought these scary stories, bro. It's about damn time, bro. <laughs> I know. I've been, sure, I've been, sl- yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I've been lagging on the conspiracies and the, and the, and the scary stories. I haven't, I've, I've been, you know, because with conspiracies, it's like it, you gotta, you lock, do, yeah, you do got to lock in. You gotta in, lock in for them. So I haven't really found much. Yeah, but right. so with Halloween, right? I found out, because of course, like, I'm honestly, me personally, I'm not really celebrating Halloween as much because right. you know, I've been going to church a lot. Right. So, but I really realized, like, Halloween is like one of the most dangerous times of the year bro definitely bro because like, i don't know definitely. if you know in new york like it's like a, they did a survey in new york and like, it's like a proven fact that the week before halloween that's like that's when things the, go up the most amount of homeless people go missing really yeah like there's a whole statistic like every like the week before halloween like around this time period that's when the most homeless people go missing and it's because a lot of people that are like satanist or right. devil worshipers they use will, them for sacrifice yo they will pick them up they will they will come in unmarked vans and they'll be like oh we're gonna take you to the homeless shelter we got food for you pick them up and bring them to like the woods and just kill them mm. and i'm like yo that's actually kind of sick no, it is. because 
they might they might kill him. They might do like crazy ass games on him, like right. let him run around the woods, hunt him down. Mm-hmm. And you gotta think about it. What if it's like these people that are like in Hollywood that live in New York City, like the the maybe Illuminati, that's like right. the devil of worshippers, right. which I don't know, but that could be a thing. Because okay. I remember there was a I think what happened was there was a banker, a really big banker in New York. I think he worked for Wall Street. He got invited to like a party, or whatever. And I guess it was like with a bunch of higher up people. And at that party, they were doing some crazy stuff. And he was like, nah, this is actually kind of wild. Like, I don't like this. And he started recording it, like recording audio of it. And he, he showed it to somebody. He said, I'm not going to lie, bro. Me having this, I might die in it, like in the future. Like, this might have me killed. Three days later, his body was found in the middle of the road, face down. They killed him, bro. What? Yeah. So I don't like it's. Whoa, whoa. Do you know what they was doing at that party? I think it was, was like some sacrificial, some sacrificial stuff, sacrificial bro. Shit? Yeah, like some drinking blood, like sacrificing animals. Because it's like really, and it's like people that do stuff like that, they look like normal people. Yeah, you would never know. Like, like yeah, I have this story. Um, there was one, like it, it, it yeah. comp- It's like this. Um, but it's mad far. Like yours is in New York, right? Yeah, New York. This one's in like Nigeria and Africa. Uh huh. Bro, I for, um, it's like a small. You know those people who I forgot what they're called. Ikadis, Ikados. I forgot what they're called. Like, like the, pe- like the people, like, like the, the native people. Huh? Like the native. People? No, 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 no. Like the Ikadi. I forgot what they're called. But um, the people who uh motorcycle you around, like yeah, if you want to go some some from place to place. Uh huh. Right. So like. There was uh I forgot what the village was called, man. I, I wish I knew. But like there was a place uh where basically those guys were getting abducted like constantly. Really? And you know, the um they have a tight knit group, like um, because they don't make that much money, obviously. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like they gotta look out for each other, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, and those guys like there was constant like missing people uh that was uh uh that was happening yeah and one of the guys that uh was in our group called him uh he had two phones but they they only checked for one mm-hmm. the guys that was actually kidnapping him yeah, yeah they only checked for one and he called one of the guys he was like oh yo uh yeah i'm getting kidnapped and there's like three people like missing limbs, like they they had missing limbs, they had missing arms, missing fingers, whatever. They, they had missing everything, and they were like, and the other people were like people who had money. Oh, so they're like rich people. Yeah, so they were like rich people, like like, but like they they were usually trying to like get like the you know the poor people, the people yeah, yeah. who don't who really wouldn't have people searching for them and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah, so like they kept um. They kept basically uh, kidnapping people and shit like that. He was like, yeah, we're in the underground tunnel, this, that, and the third. Uh, after, after like, the people, like, tried to go after him, yeah. there was a guy guarding in, guarding the place and shit like that. Mm-hmm. He had a freaking AK and some shit like that just sending rounds on them niggas. Really? It's seriously. And once they once they went to go back uh, to get weapons and shit like that, and then they went back. Everything they was like all gone. Like everything, oh, them like niggas, they packed up them niggas dip. packed up and dip. And they seen literally people's heads. Like like they like them people left people's heads, people's limbs, people's like fingers, arms, whatever the case may be. Nah, niggas seen a person's like heart. Like it was just like they was doing some sacrificial shit. And like people kept saying like, yeah, there was this unmarked van that kept going in and out. And this guy in a suit, bro. Mm-hmm. So like they would look as as if there was people like they're they're like people with money and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they're coming when with a suit and whatever the case may be. Wait, so the people in the suits was the ones that was kidnapping people. Yeah, the people with the suits oh. was like people uh ones that was ki- like I guess they would be like, yeah, I work for. I, I remember one time they, um they said yeah I, I work for um. I work for the FBI or some shit like whatever the case may be. I work for the police and he actually showed a badge. So it was like it was like a conspiracy. Like, wait, is a police on it? Like, is the government on, in it uh, in on it? Like, is you never know, like, who's in on this shit? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, bro, like when it comes to like selling your soul, like people, people talk about yeah, like selling your soul as in 
doing something that you're morally not into. Yeah. But there are some people who actually like take that devil worshiping shit to like a whole nother level. Oh, like yeah. a whole nother like that sacrificial shit. Like, you know, atheist there there there's a lot of atheists out there and it's 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 not like it's like you believe in what you believe in or you believe in what you don't believe in, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Like but like like it's it's too far when you have to when you when you're like believing in when you're like a Satanist and you're trying to sacrifice other people, that shit's crazy. Like That's what, what I are don't you understand. doing? It's like you know, like I said, it's like you ne- like you said, there's you never know who is in it. You never know, bro. Like that, it's, it's just really regular we- it's just regular people, like Especially I don't know if you I don't know if you ever watched that um that Netflix show that came out about Westfield, The Watchers. The Watchers, yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That shit scared the fuck out of me. It's scary, but it it could be true because like with you us growing know. up next to Westfield, a lot of people like if if y'all don't know, we, we grew in, up yeah. a couple of towns next to yeah, where the watcher Jersey, was on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. And so y'all don't understand. Westfield is literally Yeah. Like a very secluded town of white people, and yeah. like they, it seems like they don't like nobody but themselves. But themselves, right? And like in that movie, they was talking. Not about, trying to be rude for you. Not trying to be rude with the Westwood people. Not, not trying to be. Don't chill out now. <laughs> but it's like in that TV show, they said that there was a cult. Yeah. In that throughout the whole time ta- town, there was like a whole cult. Yeah. And I'm looking, I'm like, that's not too far. Like I wouldn't be surprised if there was really a cult in Westfield. No, nah, I wouldn't be. I would, and and you know how you see throughout the. The the uh mo- was it a movie the TV show the TV show yeah how they show how weird people were acting mm-hmm. they made it seem like the the police uh, was in on it was in on it the neighbors the, the neighbors the retail girl was in on it yeah like they they it's like everybody knew something yeah you know and it would be like it would make you think like hold on. This person might be it. Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But you never know, though. Mm-hmm. They, it might be a collective of people. Yeah, that work together and mm-hmm. that that does the same shit and have the same motives and have the same goal and they they just do the same shit. But it, you might it might not just be one. It might be a whole collective of a group collective of a group of people. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And it's, it's crazy. Like, it's like people have double lives. Yeah, that we don't know about. There might be people. That are the richest people, or they own all the stuff, but they might be doing some real weird stuff bro, at the crib. Bro, rich, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Not not trying to be rude for y'all to y'all rich folks and shit like that, mm-hmm. but I don't know if they be bored. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if they be just like, I don't know. They don't know what to do with their money, but they, uh, the things that I be hearing, <laughs> it's bad. Bro, it's bad, bro. I, I recently. This is not this wasn't a story I was gonna bring, but I, I recently found out that there was a guy on Wall Street that worked on Wall Street. He owned a whole business and everything, and he was a serial killer. They just caught him last year, bro. Really? So there, so the whole thing, right? There was a thing that was going on in like 2016, 2017. It was the Long Island serial killer. There was a bunch of women that were going missing in Long Island, and their bodies were being dumped on the beach. Mm. And like the cops found like eight to like five to six, I think five to six or five to seven bodies on the beach. Jeez. And it was like in bags, cut up all that stuff. And they didn't know who it was, but they recently found out it was a millionaire who worked for Wall Street. He has his own, I think, I don't know if it's a media business or like a, or an investing business, but he works with like Nike. He works with the main big companies. And it was him the whole time. And the the one giveaway was, I think they had a party. And one of his coworkers came to his house. And the coworker was like, was in the kitchen. And she found a secret door. And she was like, oh, what's in here? And he was like, no, there's nothing in there. And she heard something downstairs in the basement. It was a person, bro. And it might have been a person that he just kidnapped. And he he tried to lead her away. And like the guy was like being mad weird about it. He was like, yo, yo, get away from the door. Get away from the door. And she was like, "Why? Like, isn't just your basement? Like, nah, like, like move." And he was being like mad physical. And like, when she when she peeped that, she was like, "All right, let me give this to the cops." And like, they always said that he was very like weird and like very off and like very not quiet but like aggressive. Mm-hmm. And I remember they literally arrested him on his way to. And oh, the way they found him, right, is they used his DNA. They was following him because they already had like a lead on him. Mm-hmm. So he was eating pizza, 
and he didn't he didn't eat the crust and he threw it out in the garbage and the cops followed him. He took the took crust, the crust yeah. and took his DNA and it matched with the DNA that they found in some of the girl's skin. Damn. That, and they caught some him. of the girl's skin, like the dead girl, because oh, like, the you know he was touching oh, okay, him and okay, stuff. Okay, yeah. So and they matched them and they they arrested him, bro. Mm. So I'm like, yo. These people could be serial killers, yeah. and they could be walking right next to you, bro. Yeah, like you never know, bro. You never like, know. You it's never. like they just sick in the head. Yeah, it's bad, bro. Like it's that, like that cult shit. Really, like I never really thought about it like that. Like because no one has like a distinct look. Like mm-hmm. nobody has distinct. Yeah, like like yeah, that nigga's in a cult. Like yeah, you nobody, never know, bro. Exactly, like, and even crazy. if you're in a cult, like you would never. Make yourself make yourself look, look yeah. like yeah, like you're in a cult, like yeah. So it's whatever. It's crazy, it's crazy. But like that's just crazy. That's what I'm saying. And it's like I remember another another story I have, like another scary story. So now this is where the scary stories come in, bro. I was listening to this story, and I'm not gonna lie. This this it's un, this story unlocked a new fear that I never thought I had, bro. Oh, it was that bad? No, it was really bad. Like okay. it makes me think like. In my crib, making me scared of my crib. Are you serious? Yeah, All right, yeah. go ahead. So it was basically, right? So it was in the early 1940s, and it was a guy named Peter who lived in his house by himself. And he would hear things in the crib, but he would never see nothing. Like, he would hear footsteps, hear, th- hear doors open, but he just thinks he's going crazy. Right. So this was happening for five weeks. Then one day, people found him dead in his kitchen. Like, he was dead in his kitchen. It looked like somebody... Broke in and beat him with like a brick or something. Like smashed his head in. Then nobody know what knows what happened. But the cops searched the entire house and every door and every window was locked. But the only thing that they could have thought that somebody would be in is like they have like a trap door like that. Like it, like you see in yeah. my room, they had like that in a closet. But there was like there's no way anybody could literally come in from there because it leads to the, the roof. Like, there's no uh, entrance in the roof. Wait, no way, bro. Bro, it gets worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep going. So, the whole time, right? So, his ex-wife and his ex-wife moves into the house because he just died and she hires a housewife to, like, you know, keep her company and stuff and they start hearing things in the crib. Like, they start hearing walking, doors open, and they start seeing things and they think in the, the crib is haunted. So, now they're like, oh, no, I don't mess with that ghost stuff. The, the housewife resigns and the lady moves out the crib. And then now the house is vacant and all the neighbors are saying that they see see somebody walking in the crib. Like there's so many phone calls to the police that the police actually end up putting a patrol car out at night to watch the house to see if anything happens. And one night the cops see something, see a figure walking in the window and turning on the lights. So they run in there and they see a guy climbing up into the crawl space. And it was a dude living in the attic, the attic for bro. nine months. That's insane. And he, he was the guy that killed the old man. That is insane, bro. For nine months, he did not, like, for nine months, he was living in the attic. Just, like, whatever the old man had, he would take the food, this, that, and third, and just hide back in the attic, bro. I'm like, bro, that could happen in to any... anybody, bro. Not even that, bro. In, like, an Airbnb? Yeah. Because, oh, man. Because you know in New York, like, there's a thing called squatting. Mm-hmm. Like, if... If you if you can manage to to live in a crib undetected for thirty days, it's not illegal. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a that's like a actual law in New York. Like say like a homeless. So basically, so if you if if you're living at a place for like or living yeah at a place for thirty days, mm-hmm. it's not trespassing. And you, and it's not trespassing. <laughs> like you live there. Yep, you live there. Yeah, that's insane, bro. Because literally, it's like imagine you had a crib. And a homeless per you, a homeless person sneaks into your attic and he stays there for thirty days, and then you call the cops. They'd be like, uh, "We already have a rule. Like, well, I mean, we can take him out, but like, he's not going to jail, right? But he's just that's just how it is because I think it's made for like homeless people. So like, if they break into like a abandoned home, they could just like live in there. Oh, okay, but like, still, that's od. But like, they're not living at an abandoned home. Yeah, that's they're, what I'm saying. They're literally li- They're literally like. I feel like if it's abandoned, cool. Yeah. Right. Like you could, you could that that should imply like that that rule should imply that yeah, like yeah. if it's abandoned, mm-hmm. bro, you're literally trespassing like in, in people's my property. in my property. Od. And then you can't. No, if the once I see if I'm the police, like once I see people like kids, father, mother, whatever, like people living there, mm-hmm. nigga, I'm t- you're going to jail. Like, <laughs> like you're trespassing, bro. Yeah. Like this property is already owned. Yeah, like that. I don't think that should imply to literally everything. 
like yeah. if it's not in band no that shouldn't imply to pe- like something that people was already paid for because at the end of the day you're not no nah, that's not insane in you're crib. not living in my crib bro you know that's saying? crazy as hell and that, then you said in new york that that's in new thing? york yeah it's in new york just be they just make up random they just shit. be making ra- up, up shit bro but it, anyways, it's weird bro, bro. Nah, and that's like insane. i have another story i just you just reminded me about the whole thing so like i was talking about with airbnbs right yeah. so basically there was a cut it was a it was a friend group that rented out airbnb in the middle of the woods and that's your problem. That's the first. That's the first issue right there. Oh no! No Airbnb no, in the woods. No woods, bro. That's your. That's your first problem. That's your first mistake. We go might ahead. go camping one day. Who? Us. Who's we? Me. Who's you. us? Me and you. You. Me and who? Me and you. Bro. I don't know. Who, my name Fritz. I don't know who you is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not me, bro. Okay. <laughs> but, go ahead, bro. So it was like a friend group. They ran out of ha- cabin in the woods, and one girl said that she would hear somebody walking in the kitchen, but it wasn't like somebody just like walking. It was like somebody like sneaking around like footsteps, like creaking. And she was like, okay, maybe it's just one of the girls. Like one of the girls woke up or whatever, but she couldn't go to sleep because it was just happening. So freaking, it was like somebody walking back and forth and she didn't know what it was. So then the next morning they was eating breakfast and they was like, she was like, Hey, why were you guys like walking around late at night? Like, yeah, I couldn't sleep because y'all. He's like, what are you talking about? We was all asleep. And she was like, I heard footsteps in the kitchen. I didn't know what it was. And they was like, oh, hell no. So what they did was they they walked, they made sure they went around the crib and stuff like that and looked through all the rooms. And in the basement, they found a trap door. And when they, they didn't even open it, they literally found a trap door and they left and they called the cops and the cops investigated it. And what was going on was they went into the trap door and there was a tunnel and the tunnel led all the way into a, a sane asylum that was a mile away in the foot in the forest. Yo, what? Yeah, bro. And supposedly an insane asylum patient escaped and he he built the tunnel and was going back and forth into that crib stealing food so he can live. But he was in that hospital, like the insane hospital in the middle of the woods. And he kept going back and forth. So they found out the guy, they arrested him. And well, I don't even know where they put him. I think they just put him back in the thing, but they closed up the tunnel. Yo, that is insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why there's some Airbnb cribs that is really creepy that I probably would try to steal. That's why Airbnb is like a little sketchy sometimes. It is it's like, sketchy, yeah. Because like there's some places where it'd be cool, but it's like some places like, dang, like this junk might be freaking in the middle of nowhere. Right. But it's a, it's like an actual crib. Right. That's why that's the only thing that would scare me. Like, that's, I, I, I'm surprised there's not more cases like that. Yo, there was a case. Oh, shit. you see, I wish I knew the details, but like it was, it, it was like a couple. Yeah. And, uh, and they kept on hearing. It was in the basement. This time, like it was in the basement. Like they kept hearing shit, and but he kept hearing. They kept hearing shit. Like the wife kept hearing shit every time the husband was going and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, she was like, she was like. What, what were you doing like downstairs in the basement? I wasn't downstairs in the basement. Like I was. And this like, is an Airbnb. Work. This is an Airbnb. No, this is their house. Oh, this is their crib. Yeah, oh, this is their okay, crib. Okay. Yeah, he's like, no, nah, I wasn't downstairs in the basement. Like I, I was, I was out. Like I said, I was out. Mm-hmm. He's like, then what? What the fuck? Like what was that sound? And then they later found out that there was this nigga living, living inside their basement. Uh, making he was making no I forgot what it was. I think it was a doctor or he said he was a doctor and he was just making like he was just doing shit down there like I don't know <laughs> really? what he was doing bro he was just like I don't know if he was killing motherfuckers I don't know what he was doing bro nah that's crazy. it was bro. like the fact that people like could be downstairs or like upstairs in people's base did you see that video where <laughs> um the person was uh in the kitchen yeah and he went through the vent you didn't see that. We like, went through the vent. He went through like one of these air vents, whatever. Those, I forgot what it was. Like, I don't know what it was. It, it was probably like a. It, well, I don't think it was like a vent. Air you, duct? you can't. You can't. You can't fit. You can't fit that shit. Like the things that they had in like Zach and Cody that he used to crawl through. You remember? In yeah, the, pro- probably one of like those. That. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, right? now I know what you're talking about. Like but like, big I don't, time yeah, press. like big time. Yeah, but like, I don't think it was one of those because I don't think niggas could like a can a like a adult fit that shit. Yeah, I mean, depends on how big it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, the nigga, the nigga crawled. I think it was a woman actually crawled out the out the shit and like just going through their 
refrigerator and shit like that and then walk right back it was a it was a shit on tiktok really it was a video on tiktok yeah See? they had cameras set up because they kept seeing that the food was going and shit like that and it was a person that was living in there shit for i don't know how long like months probably wow like it's insane bro see that's what i'm saying it's like people can really just live in the crib with there could be somebody living in my attic no, no, know, have you, how long have you ever been there uh <sighs> that's a good question now nah, but there's no way somebody could go in there unless they literally what? Go, go through the roof there's no way because i can hear that thing because like if you open that it like a, a ladder comes down and it creaks so there's no way somebody's in that freaking thing. Yeah, but what if you was whenever everyone was gone? I don't know. Some I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That there might be somebody. Hey, somebody in my shit, bro. I'm catching a body, bro. Oh, you killing him? Bro, what? How you gonna kill him, Fritz? Nigga, it's my house. No, but how are you like how I'm are you stabbing niggas? Oh, you stabbing them? <laughs> I'm stabbing niggas. What if he got a gun? Why does he have a gun? Well, nah, that is Nah, a- that is impossible, bro. <laughs> you nah. I'd be pissed. <laughs> If a nigga kill me in my own home, and you've been living in my home, you just, you kill me with a gun? How the fuck you get that shit? I I'm gonna, be tight. I'd be mad as hell, bro. I should be the one owning the gun, bro. That's not fair, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm catching a body. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. That's a that's a terrible way to go out. That's so terrible. The nigga is is in my home without me knowing yeah. for months. Yeah, I find him. He kills me? <laughs> nah, bro. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed. That is a horrible way to go out, bro. Yeah. And I don't got the gun? Nope. Nah, that's insane, bro. Yeah, I'd be mad as hell, bro. <laughs> the nigga, nah. Yeah, that's so ass, I'm, I'm going to be like, yo, let me get a redo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, reincarnate me. <laughs> reincarnate Yeah, bro. I need a redo, bro. That's so Because that ass. is insane. That's so ass. Like, that would be the worst way. To, that would be one of the worst ways to die, bro. Uh, nah, for real. Because it's like... Nah, there really could be somebody in that attic. I would never nah, know about. Nah, they're really good. I'm not gonna lie. One day, man. One day you know what's great? Like I had to go in on top. Like I, I had to help my my aunt with like her, sh- and she has one of those. I had to go up there. I was scared out of my. I was shaking in my boots, bro. Wait, why? Huh? Wait, why? Is it just dark? Because mine. No, is, because I don't know what's up there. I'm scared. If anything, if anything, there could be an animal. But the thing with mine is, so with your aunts, was there like. Was there like actual flooring or was it just like it's flooring? Okay, so for mine, right, right here above my room, there's flooring, but it goes like throughout the the whole house, like going down this way. There's just it's like the what's inside the walls, like what's that called? Insulation, and, oh, okay. insulation. So I remember my dad was up there. I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you, but I think I said on the podcast, he, you you have to walk on the beams. So because you can't walk on the insulation because not it's not yeah, it's floor. Not stir- yeah. So he walked on the beam and he slipped. Oh, and he, he went through. He went through them. No, nah, like his legs was through the roof. So oh, like, shit. so you could literally like, I walked into my sister's. You room. see his leg dangling. Yes, that's what it looked like a freaking cartoon, bro. Nah, that nigga. First of all, that nigga. Wait, you go? Can he walk up there? Like for real? Like he's the nigga six six. Uh, Is he not? Yeah, he he had to been. He was like hunched over. Okay, good. It's like, like a crawl space. Like it wasn't like. Really, okay, but you could walk there. Like I can't regular. walk standing up. I got like duck. You got duck too. Yeah, it's not that. It's not high high. Okay, but I haven't been up there in a while. I might. Nah, nah that's too much. It's too much work. It's too yeah, much work. Lot. But another thing I want to talk about this since it's Halloween, bro. I want to talk about the 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 deadliest haunted house ever created, bro. I think mm. we we was talking about this before. We was definitely talking about this, and I know who we know, bro. I know who that nigga is. Freaking Kami Manor, yeah, in Tennessee. And you know the guy recently just got arrested, yeah, for uh, I think he attempted murder. He because he tried to kill a girl twice. He tried to kill a girl twice? Yeah, I don't know if it was from his freaking uh, haunted house or if he actually did it outside, but it was literally... But people, if some, if y'all don't know about this already, it's basically a haunted house that they do... It's not even a haunted house. They anymore. torture you. They torture you at the end of the day. They literally torture you. You have to, li- you have to do an evaluation, like mental evaluation, physical evaluation. You have to sign like a 100-page like waiver. You have to have like a background check. And like they only... But mind you, he was doing this prior yes. to even having those things. Mm-hmm. Like, the, he didn't have a... Like, he was doing this before he was located in Tennessee. Yeah. He moved to Tennessee from... Missouri? Was it somewhere in Missouri? I know it was south. It was, it was, it was somewhere. Because, because like, for, I think uh, where he was... Was it St. Louis? 
No, nah, I'm not. Yeah, St. Louis. It might have been. That's that, what I'm saying. I think, that it might, I think it might have been in Missouri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah. Maybe. Um, he was real like he was real like um successful over there. Yeah. Why did he move though? I'm not sure. Maybe they freaking found out he had to relocate. Yeah, but like he he had to relocate and shit like that. Like, um, he was doing this way before having like a waiver and shit like that. Like he was torturing motherfuckers way before. But people were doing that shit willingly. So I don't know what wrong what's wrong with people nowadays. Because the be thing is, I think they gave it. They had a grand prize if you if you completed because you're in there for. So you have to you have to survive eight to ten hours. Yeah. In there, and if you win, you get. Ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. Then they never got it though. They never. I don't think they never got. They the never ten, got the ten thousand. Ne- no, he. There we. There we go. He was broke. Oh, <laughs> he was broke. Really? Yeah. He. He was. He. He. He didn't have money. It, like his mom. Um. Not his mom. His. His wife had money, and she was funding literally everything. Wow. Type shit. Uh. And he, I think he went through a divorce with his wife and shit like that. Yeah. And. She also tried to expose him off of having, like, uh, I think little kid shit, but I don't think that's, I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but, like, yeah, just being just a dickhead. Like, he was at home, he was just weird as fuck. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. was, uh, I guess, verbally abusive. Mm-hmm. And after he divorced with his wife, like, he didn't have no bread. So, he him surviving that eight hours, there's literally footage. Um, He would. When people would get close to surviving those eight hours, you said eight hours? Yeah, eight to ten hours. He'd be like, nah, it's getting too intense. Nah, for your own safety. Nah, we not oh, gonna like, do it. Wow. He never gave niggas $10,000 or $20,000. You know, $20, you know what I also cases. heard too? I also heard in the beginning, they never had a safe word. Oh, yeah. They so never, like when yeah. you go in there, if you'd be like, if you like, you know, some place they have a safe word if mm-hmm. you're done, they, there was no safe word. Yeah. So if you walk in there, and be like, yo, I'm done. They'd be like, nah. And they no, still be your Nah, ass. you know what's crazy? At one point, there was a safe word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they, they listen. And they didn't listen. They kept whooping that girl. It was a what girl? Yeah, it was a girl. Kept whooping her ass. Bro. Crazy I word. I heard what they used to do was they used to freaking, they used to put you in like cold ass water. Yeah, bro. They used to shave your head. Yeah, yeah, shave they'll, your head. They'll yep. pull your teeth out. Yeah, yeah. What? They'll pull your teeth out <laughs> with, <laughs> with pliers, bro. They'll pull your fingernails out. They'll cut you. They'll beat Fingernails? you. Fingernails? Yes, bro. Nah, that's it was that's that's literal torture. Yes, bro. It was bad. Yo, when people, nah, I think that's like terroristic. Yes, like, it's bro. torture, bro. That's like that's od. <laughs> but like they didn't know because there was no footage behind it, mm. and these people were signing waivers, so it was mm. just like uh whatever. But it's like they were they used to waterboard them, and I think there was I think there was one person that actually said like they buried them alive. Yeah, they did. Yo, no, there there was a lot of burying alive. Come on, now. Bro. At literally yo you know what's crazy literally in that waiver it will tell you yo when you're buried alive you're gonna have minimal air this down the third <laughs> so try not to you know breathe too much or something <laughs> use your breath wisely <laughs> <laughs> or you die <laughs> Nick, we'll sign in these wave okay now it has to be to- it has to be talked about yeah whose fault is it that is a good question. And honestly, I think it is the people's fault. Because at the end of the day, you are giving them business. You are. You're giving them business. And if and you know it's that, you know what? Because the first people, I won't No, the be first mad people, at, no, you can't be mad at the first people. Because they didn't know. They didn't know. There was, a, like, at the end of the day, your f- initial thought is like, oh, I'm going to a haunted house. Cool. Yeah. Like, a regular haunted house. No one's touching me. It's a haunted house. Exactly. Um, which it, I think, which I feel like it started out being like a ha- like a regular haunted house. No one was touching you. It was, and design third is it, it, then it got a little extreme. Yeah. The people, those people, I, you can't blame. Mm-hmm. You cannot blame. Yeah. Now the people after, <laughs> like, what are you guys thinking? I know. I'm about to say, you didn't think that you thought it was lying. You thought it was lying. <laughs> you, you thought, thought it was, it was jokes? jokes. Like, it was <laughs> like, what did you think was going to not trying to be rude because at the end of the day you guys were like it, it is some serious shit yeah it is you know what i'm saying like people are getting hurt off, like physically hurt off of this Bro, like heard- did you see the girl that went to the hospital yeah yeah like that was in the hospital and she you know he forced those people to make those um videos videos and be like oh thank you for this experience 
for at McKinney Manor. I appreciate you. Literally, after those videos, after him whooping, <laughs> giving girls concussions and whooping their ass and giving them black eyes and shit like that, he would tell them to to make a video. Yeah. To tell them how enjoyable their experience was. Nice. Just so, just so it could go under the radar. So like, oh yeah. No, nah, nothing's going on here. Like, it's all entertainment. You know what I'm nah, saying? that's OD. I ain't gonna lie. I would go in there with a group of friends, and then people come out, we beating the ass. Nigga, what? We are beating them all up. Yo, word I'm, up, bro. And and you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me, like, nah. Yeah, you can't be, yo, bro, what's going on? <laughs> what, what? Nah, this, this, you can't do this. Nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you trying to hurt me. I'm saying. Like, what you mean? Nah, word up. Like, that's OD. I, nah, that would, Because that's it was like, it was just idea. a crib, right? It, wasn't it was just like, a crib at first. Yeah, it was just like at his crib or something like that. Like, they were decorated and shit. Mm -hmm. And then after, like, like you said, like I said, like, he divorced with his wife. Yeah. So after that, I think, I think it was like some, I forgot what it was. Yeah, like, I get what you mean. It was like crazy. But it's like, it's like at the end of the day, they were really just being tortured for fun. And Basically. I was like, for 10K, that's not worth 10K. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's not worth 10K at all. And not only that, like nobody got that 10K, exactly. which sucks, which I really feel bad for. I like know. a lot of people went through torture. Bro, like they were getting their head crazy. shaved. They was freaking getting tattoos that they didn't want. Like they was really tattooing them, holding them. Oh, they down. was tattooing. Yeah, they had a tattoo machine guy come in, just like writing stuff That's on them. That's crazy. Like, are you like? They was the getting, heck? they was getting drowned. No, they was getting buried alive. They was basically close to death a lot of times, and, and he might have been came, a little serial killer or no, psychopath. I'm no, no. At that point, you have to you have to think about like this guy is definitely having like too much fun. <laughs> fun with this like way too much fun with this like he's he's having a ball there's Yo. no way there's no way you as a regular human being with a normal human being yeah with a mind and a heart you would sit there and be okay with that that is true while you're watching that's facts no you you have to be somebody who actually likes it like enjoys shit like that literally I wonder if they arrested anybody that was in the freaking thing doing the crazy stuff. Like, the ones that was actually torturing them. They, they need to be arrested, too, bro. Whatever them people are I'm not going to lie. Bro. I'm not going to lie. Low-key, they do. And there was some that was... um That literally quit because they're like, yo, this is too far. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like it's, it's crazy. The fact that... And, and a lot of times in Tennessee, like, when he was trying to open shit up, yeah open that you know you know uh thing up yeah you got to get approved by you know whatever yeah. city he's yeah, living yeah, in yeah, and yeah. shit like that everyone was disapproving that shit because like <laughs> nobody like nobody wants to like wants any bullshit in their hands like like what if some shit happens like mm -hmm. where where somebody dies like you know I, and now it goes falls on the city because like you guys approve that shit low-key I wouldn't be surprised if they killed somebody by accident and they just like dumped his body and it was like it, that person ended up being like missing. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised about that. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, and and at the end of the day, they could I guess they could be like, Oh yeah, he signed a waiver, this is that a third. I, yeah. I I don't I don't know. Because and and a waiver, it does include you can die. Oh, it does say that? No, it says that. Oh, it says you could die? There yeah, like no, seriously, like in in, in in some of the uh, in some of the writing, it says like there's some like shit like if you don't do correctly, or you can die. Like it does lead to death. Nah, that's od. Like seriously. So look, like, I'm on the website right now. It says 21 and above or 18, 18 to 20 with parents approval. Completed sports, physical, and doctor's letter stating you are physically and mentally cleared. Pass a background check provided by MM. Be screened via FB, FaceTime, or iPhone. Proof of medical insurance. Sign a detailed 40-page waiver. Pass a portable drug test on the day of the show. Like, it's still open. It's still open. Yes. What are you guys doing? It's in Huntsville, Alabama, and Nashville, Tennessee. Why wow, my cousin lives in Nashville, Tennessee. We could call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could, you could call that there's a There's a number. They they have like bro. There's a show on Netflix on. There's a show on Netflix. 
Yeah, um, it was featured on a sh- wait no. Or was, was it, it or, or or Hulu? It was it was featured on a show on uh, about haunted houses. I think. Really? Yeah, but I don't know if it was that. Was it that one though? It was featured on a show. That's how he got his notoriety pretty up to though. It says, "Oh, look at the, this! Is the warning. Be warned." McCammy Manor is not your standard boo on the house. Yep, here we go. This is an audience participant event in which you will live your own horror movie. Movie. This is a rough, intense, and truly frightening experience. You must be in great health to participate. Last year's haunt was absolutely nothing compared to the new McCammy Manor. <laughs> what the fuck? New for 2023, McCammy Manor presents Descent, the next evolution in the interactive survival horror theater understand that each tour will be different based upon your personal fears and can last up to six hours like why who wants to be in there for six hours man? <laughs> six hours yo it's six hours six bro. six hours bro it says each guest will be mentally and physically challenged until you reach your personal breaking point <laughs> do not wear expensive clothing so don't bring that gucci yeah. or that louis v so, shoes but even go steal them things bro. but even even if you like breach your breaking point we're still gonna keep going <laughs> like, like there's no yeah. like come on bro bro it's insane it says do not bring anything that can't get wet if anyone becomes rowdy pushing shoving running they will immediately be removed lies they're gonna freaking drag you back in yeah, or beat they, your ass. yeah they're gonna try to beat your ass it says no questions asked anyone that has been drinking alcohol or taking drugs will not be allowed into the haunt and will be asked to leave the property a check-in will be required to show ID. The waiver process for a descent will last two hours. One performance only per week. Dang. So one performance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, wait. So is that one person a week or is that multiple people? In it, that might, it might be. It might be one. Like, but like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff, bro. Think about the average 10 to 20 haunt or a theme park at a Halloween and what you experienced. Was it really interactive and scary? At the new McCammy Manor, you will experience thrills that you have never seen before. You will be tested to your very core. If things become too much, you can always quit. Lies. That's so lies, bro. And it says it's open. I thought they closed it down. But I guess somebody's still running even though Cousin Prison, bro. That's OD. That's so OD, bro. So I think they have a show on Hulu, not... um. Not, oh, not Netflix. Not Netflix. I think it's a Hulu show. Oh, they're coming out with the Hulu show. I think it's called McKimmy Manor. Crazy work, bro. But now nah, for ten thousand dollars, and you don't even get the ten thousand dollars. That's crazy work. The guy's broke. <laughs> that's the fucked up part. How, how, like the niggas telling you, yeah, we're gonna give you this amount of bread. You doing it, and then he stops you when you're about to finish because he doesn't have that ten k, bro. It's insane. That's od work, bro. Nigga doing scary edging. It's, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's insane, bro. That dude, he did edging. <laughs> Cause it's edging, bro. That's Yo, OD. that's od. But I got a question for you, Fritz. So since we're talking about this, so you're giving ten thousand dollars a day to stay in a room filled with a hundred thousand roaches. How many days are you staying? So think of a room like this. 100,000 roaches. And I'm not talking about the little ones that you see in the... the, the big hood. ass ones, it of could course, be the little. Man. It could be little ones. It could be some big ass ones, like the really big ones. Nah, I know. I know. I've seen some shit. So how many days will you last for $10,000 a day? Roaches bite? No. But they just crawl yeah, on stuff, eat your food. Yeah. I thought You said how much? $10,000 a day. I'll last a week. So seven days? I see... I think I can do. Are you? Do you like? Are you scared of roaches? You're not scared of roaches. Not necessarily, but what I am scared of is like sleeping. Oh, and they're, like yeah, are they're they crawling gonna, on you. Yeah, are they gonna crawl like inside my ear or some shit? They're, they're gonna crawl on you. Like they're everywhere. Yeah, but like I don't want them inside my ear. Yeah, I know. I don't or want like or like inside like go try to go in my mouth. Yeah, pause. I know. I see with my mouth open. Pause. Huh? I see my mouth open. Yo, you know what's... Cr- I, st- I just started doing that I'm shit, like, and I'm tired of doing that shit, bro. Yeah. I do it in public, and I, and it's embarrassing, bro. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't like that shit. Yeah, no, yeah, real, no the they're going inside them, your mouth, bro. I'm Pause. saying... How <laughs> they going in your mouth? Bro, I need... That's what I'm saying. I seen a video, because I think they actually did this, and, like, they would give the guy food, and when they... Oh, he opened the box, there was cockroaches in uh, the box oh word so like they can't move it but like there's the fat ass cockroaches they got nah, the little no. ones no bro there's some roaches that are like um, this fucking big yo. bro <laughs> there's roaches so i think me personally i last a week 
So that's what seventy k. I think I can only do five days, bro. Fifty k, bro. Yeah, but, I was, I was, I was contemplating on five days too, but I think I could last the, the last two it's days. It's just the fact I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sleep the first two days. Yeah. Because what the guy did in the video, he literally had a spot where he tried to like keep the roaches away, and it was like a beanbag chair, and he would just sit on there, mm. and like whenever roaches come by, he would just kick them away, and he put like a little like hula hoop around, so like they won't go in the hula hoop, but like I, they're still crawling over, and it was literally everywhere. But like yeah. anytime you turn something like. Under the mattress, it was all over the place. Oh wait, bro. so somebody actually did this? But I don't know if it was actually for like ten k, ten k, but it was like they was in like an all white room with like a bed and like they gave him food and like a they had like a chair and beanbag chair, but there was like roaches everywhere. That's insane. That's disgusting, bro. I, I could do seven days though. You think you could do seven? Yeah, you could. I think you could do the last two. I'm dead ass. I'm telling you, bro. I'm not bad. The freaking what I'm telling you is that. First couple of days, I can't, I won't be able to sleep because yeah, I, I can't lay my head and then they're gonna be crawling on me. Yeah. I wake up that morning. If I wake up, I might just be like, I'm done. I'll just take the 10K and leave. Yeah, I'm that I is disgusting, bro. Nah, that's insane. Like, especially because you know, cockroaches carry like babies. Like, if you kill a cockroach baby, them just start. Oh, do they? Yeah, like, oh, I'm, like spiders? Yeah, they're like spiders, bro. Really? That's why they say, like, you shouldn't like step on a cockroach. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, like you shouldn't step on it because like they, they actually carry babies like un, like on their backs on their back, and then they just scatter. They I don't know if they scatter, but like you might get some on your shoe, and you might I don't know if they like might grow or something like that. There's some there was something that like you need the roach spray to spray on them, oh, like rather shit. than just like step on. It. I forgot what it was no, because I know my grandma living in the, in the hood, bro. They she got they got roaches, bro. So <laughs> I'm used to step. I ain't really scared scared of roaches stepping on. Them. I don't mind, but a ten a hundred thousand is od, bro. No word up, bro. I'm gonna I'm step a, on a on a couple. Word up! I'm 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 gonna do I'm gonna step on a couple, but at one point then they gonna fight back. They gonna fight, but <laughs> but you don't think you could step on ten thousand on them? No, it's a hundred thousand. I mean, you can't. Oh, that's gonna be freaking nasty. No, that's insane. It's probably nasty. gonna be. They're gonna pile up. Yeah, and there's gonna be something that you might not catch that's hiding in the cut. Yeah. They come out and yeah. then they just lay some babies. You're right. Like that's just od, bro. I could do seven days. Though. Seven days, okay. Cool, seventy okay. k. Not bad. That's not bad. Okay, bro. So, Fritz, I got I got some other things that we could talk about that we haven't talked about in a while in this pod. So, I don't know if you've been hearing about what Elon Musk been doing in the world, bro. Oh, uh, the fucking robots. The the iRobots, bro. He's literally, you know what's crazy? iRobot came out 20 years ago in 2004. Wait, how? Like the movie iRobot. Oh, iRobot. Yeah, oh, yeah, movie yeah, I yeah. Came with out Will Smith? With Will Smith, yeah. And then I see they did like a side by side picture of like Will they Smith like- and Elon Musk. Bro, the, the robots look alike. And then he just came out with like a freaking Tesla truck, not the Cyber Truck. Yeah, that's like a self-driving bus. Yeah, and there um also a Tesla cab too. Yo, I seen that cab, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's a smart idea. It's very smart. But do you know how it works? No. So like, so how it works is it's a Elon Musk basically built a self-driving car, but it's not for like uh, like me to buy for like myself. It's like he mixed Airbnb and Uber together. So what they do is, so what he'll do is he'll sell this car to somebody and the car will go out and pick up people like an Uber and drop people off and he will make money based on how many things This is insane. That nigga is insane. That's crazy. But like, how do you think of that? Like, you know how, cause like, you know how Airbnb, you freaking, you, you buy a, a property and then you rent it out to people yeah. and like, you don't got to do no maintenance. He's literally doing that, but with cars Like you buy the car yeah. and you, you rent it out to people and let them like pick up people and drop them off and you get bread for it. But it's like he's nobody's driving the car; he's driving himself. He's driving himself. That's crazy. This nigga, I'm not gonna lie. This nigga single handedly making like the the, the like, future, the future that yeah. we that we thought that would have been around this time. Uh-huh. This nigga single handedly like starting doing himself, starting yeah, doing this shit. So by the time it gets to whatever you know, to, he's the nigga that's gonna st- that started in that oh, shit. Oh yeah, bro, he's it's insane. He's modern day Tony Stark. He's literally modern day ter- Tony Stark. It's insane. And bro. like his robots, bro, his robots literally like speak. Yeah, I know, and they and they speak like, like it's not like it's not like uh Robot specific talk? yeah specific sentences like how Siri does the shit. Yeah, motherfucker, he, he, like people were asking how you like Eli Stark. I say Eli Stark. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I'm like, yo, he was like, how you think? Uh, how's Elon Musk? They can talk about some. Yeah, he's cool. Is that the third? Oh, they modern. I'm dead ass, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, I gotta see the. You gotta see the video, Cause bro. Cause I seen, I seen the video where I think when they unveiled them, they had the robots like serving people. 
and the the robot was like, "Oh, you want chocolate or vanilla?" Like, like that's you serious? yo, it's crazy. That's bro. crazy work. Who thinks of stuff like that? But like, do you trust this shit though? I don't. Need, I don't. I don't, bro. Look, 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 look. Let me see. Hold on, I don't know if this one. What's that on TikTok? No, it's Twitter. Did you say how you doing? He said, "What's up?" He said, "What's up?" I'm doing good. Hold on. Nah. Nah. This is fucking insane. Do you not see this shit? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Nigga, talk about some Tony. Nice to meet you, Tony. Like, what is going on? That's insane, bro. That's, I don't like this, bro. That's scary, bro. It's scary as hell, bro. Like, one robot could go bad. Literally. And literally hook up to the Wi-Fi and <laughs> kill everybody. Come on, bro. Nigga talking about hook up to the Wi-Fi. Bro, hook what up to the, the Wi-Fi and, like, <laughs> you know what I'm freaking me. Hook up to the Wi-Fi. How is he hooking up to the Wi-Fi and killing motherfuckers? I don't know. Like, fucking, <laughs> like, he's, like, able to, like, See the secrets and send them freaking missiles or whatever. What are you even talking about, bro? Like this nigga talking. <laughs> look, look, so, look, look. No, so, so you're telling me he's gonna? No, I want you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's hooking up to the Wi-Fi, get getting secrets. This one robot and sending missiles to every to everything. I just want you to tell me. Let, me, like, let me explain, explain that shit. what I meant because I don't understand. <laughs> He is going to hook up to the Wi-Fi and be able to go into databases. The, the database You're right. to be able to send out nuclear weapons. Okay. This like, w- yeah. Like you remember you remember in I don't know if you ever watched Apocalypse. No. I from didn't. X-Men. The nah. X-Men Apocalypse. No. Nah. Cause Lily freaking the, the main villain freaking went into Charles Xavier's mind and took over his mind. And you know how he had cerebral and stuff? Okay. So like he went to Cerebro and he went into like the guy's mind who like controlled the keys mm-hmm. and he literally sent the missiles up into the air so like we don't have no weapons. Okay, but that's a freaking mutant, right? No, but like, <laughs> like, like, you're talking about a nigga with powers. <laughs> I don't know what these guys no, could do. No, no I, I well, I understand where you're coming from. Like these are robot ro- robots, yes. like robotics like crazy. Like you don't know what they're capable of. So I wouldn't be well, I would be surprised that this one robot could do all that shit. <laughs> and if he did, then Elon Musk created like a whole like he ruined the planet, honestly. But no, like I'm saying. But like that would be I, I doubt it though. Like I think the most would that would that would happen if this if these robots like uh malfunction malfunctioned or something. Yeah. Would probably just be like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, them walking around hitting people or some shit like that. Oh, like beating them up? Yeah, I don't think they're that, they're that, like, technic, techno, how, how do you say the word, bro? Techno, technological? Not, there we go, bro. That shit fucked yeah, up my. He was tweeting. <laughs> he <laughs> sounded like a robot. <laughs> I don't think they're that, that much up there. Like, I don't think so, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It to where they're they're to where they're like oh shit I'm gonna I'm remember this shit or I'm a, I am I know how to do this shit I'm a I'm a do this you like you know what nah, I, I, I don't it. like bro because of this okay right I say by 2040 we gonna have like robots like normally because I remember when like, I, my I'm, first robot that I seen was we was in when we went to LA in 2021 or something 2021 oh, about the people yeah we went to LA with the with the Chris and them. And we went to Santa Monica, and they had a robot delivering food. Yeah, serving food, right? And I was like, what the heck? is That was the first time I seen it. But I'm mm. saying 2040, think about it, bro. The, we not far off for some horny nigga making a freaking sex robot, like oh. a freaking Rick and Morty. Oh, no, no. Uh, far off? No, we're close. They're going to there, make there, it. There's, there's, a, there's about to be a genius that's going to make that shit. <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of horny niggas that's, that's going to buy that shit. Like, a lot... A lot of horny rich niggas. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you know it's not that, that hard. No, you you don't think it's that hard, bro? You just I get, mean, they gotta look like human. Yeah, look, think about it. You just get the robot, make put it in like that. Okay, this nigga's thing. been talking about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> nigga been thinking about it. This nigga's the horny nigga. That's the horny nigga I found him, y'all. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait! Because you told me. I literally just thought about this in my mind. Just okay, now. sure, bro. Because this nigga talking about something. It's not that hard. Hold on, look. Let me tell you something. <laughs> look, good. This is what you do, right? You know the little pockets, the little pockets. Yeah, the pocket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just put that on oh, the roof. <laughs> Yo, you put that on the robot, and then you good. And that's that's like, it. That's it. No, okay, cool. The, okay, that's fine. Putting the pocket thing in the, yeah. in the robot. But the robot, I feel like for the, well, like the robot has to look human. I feel like there's not, like, it, I, I get it. They're horny niggas. But they're not about to just buy a robot that looks like a robot. <laughs> That would that and and that just has a pocket money. Bro. <laughs> I doubt it. I really hope not. Well, I, I just don't know nowadays. These niggas just be nasty niggas, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I, th- I thought of another idea. Oh, uh, this <laughs> nigga is Elon Musk of the horny niggas. Keep going, bro. All right, so right, so this was gonna happen. They're gonna like the f- the face of the thing is like digital. Like a screen. Mm, like a screen. Yeah. So you could put like you could put a face on there oh, or you could watch something. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane. And what's the body? What's the body? The body could be like it, it can't be like metal, because that's gonna be Yeah, weird that's gonna be cold. Yeah, exactly. It gotta be like <laughs> it gotta be the same material as like as, the yeah. pocket. But, uh, the pocket. <laughs> it gotta be the same. But the it has to have like an exoskeleton. Inside. Right, right. Okay, I'm I'm with you, girl. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> I'm telling you, by 2040, somebody's gonna create it. I bet you it was the person who created OnlyFans. No, who's gonna create it. No, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, what, but the thing is, though, OnlyFans wasn't made for that. What was it made for? It wasn't made for literal <laughs> sexual shit. Really? No, seriously, it wasn't. What was it? It, it was, was just <laughs> like exclusive content. It was just like like Patreon? you don't have, you don't have literally like you don't have to go to OnlyFans and and do that like you don't like you could literally i don't know cook on holy bands you could do anything you want it's just the whole, the, the, the bitches who are money just went over there and just you know did that shit. infected it they just infected it like it's literally like a virus bro <laughs> like literally it's just it just scattered Yo. like it's not like only was secluded like it's ex- really exclusive for like for like a porn thing yeah, no yeah. it just became that way i was about to say i'm like how they even let that slide? Like, like, how do you how do you convince investors to put money into you? I, it, it, I think at one point, I'm not gonna lie, like they tried to sh- like stop all that shit. Yeah, like oh, yeah, like that point, like, like OnlyFans, like like OnlyFans themselves tried to stop like them. Oh, posting that stuff. That, like, like yeah, them posting that shit. But I guess they realized those are the, making too yeah, much money. those are the money makers. You feel me? So. They're like, yeah, fuck it. I wonder who was the first person to think of that idea, bro. Yeah, bro. But like, um, damn, what was I talking about? With the robot? The, the <laughs> pocket, the pocket put? Yeah, the, it was probably the robots. Uh, With the screen on it? I'll tell you, the face is like a screen and you can just yeah, watch it. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, by 2040, definitely. Uh, you think people are going to, it's going to be like normal to see a robot to see a robot like inside a person's home and shit yeah. like that right i think you the, think it's gonna be affordable by 2040 no nah. hell no i think it's by good. like 20 i mean you gotta think about it the iphone became pretty affordable a couple wait when did when did the first iphone come out like the the, the early two, 2000s early 2000s it's like it became affordable in probably like 2007 when know. did you think it probably came became affordable in like 2014 not not 20 no no not 2014 like 20 2010 that's when more people start getting iPhones, like stop going away from like the Blackberries and like right, the slides. Right. Maybe like 2010, 2012, so like 12 years. So probably like 2050, it might be affordable, but it still might be like, like 10K. Yeah. Yeah. You, but it's yeah. going to be as much as like, maybe not as much as a car, but maybe as less. But I wouldn't want one in my crib. You wouldn't want one in your crib? Hell no, I like, think it'd kill me, bro. No, yeah, yeah, me neither. I wouldn't want one. I think it might kill me by accident. It might malfunction, like cutting something up and just be like, yeah, throw that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, you thought you was like food. Bro. Yeah. You thought you was meat. Pause. Yeah. No. <laughs> I guess trying to cut you up. That dog's crazy. Work. Nah, it's insane, bro. I just. I just you, so, what about, what about jobs? Jobs? Uh, I think they're gonna. You think you think you think people are um ever gonna, like, or robots ever gonna I think steal gonna, people's jobs? They like, gonna send them in the freaking army, put them in the front lines. The robots. Yeah, 
World War Three, send all of them. <laughs> send all of them. Send all of them. I'm not going. <laughs> We've talked about this plenty of times. Send them first. Right, See, how, send them test. They don't even have to be good. Just send them and just self-destruct all of them. No, really. Like a giant nuke on the ground. So that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they said that's this not stuff. heat. No, that's why. Literally, you just like have just them an run. army of robots. Army and then robots they just running, just self-destruct. Like it's just sprinting and just like boom. That's tough. That's oh, they can't stop that. You shoot him, I bet he's gonna blow up anyways. Okay, so not that's tough. I'm saying, I got one last question for you though, Fritz. So it's a would you rather question, right? So would you rather have to fight Chucky every single day for a year, so 365 days? Chucky's easy, bro. Or fight Michael Myers once a year for 10 years. Stip- oh wait, every day, Chucky. Yeah, every oh, day. No, the thing mean. though, the thing though, right? With Michael Myers is that that one day he comes, you just have to survive that one day. That's it. But and with Chucky, Chucky you I have to kill him every, every day? day. You have to kill Chucky every nah, single day. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Michael Myers might be the choice, cause Chucky. I don't think Chucky sleeps for real. He don't. He don't need to sleep. And you literally got for him to stop, you got to kill him. Like, just break him. Don't he, don't he burn? Yeah. Nah, because I think they burned him in the last time and he came back. I mean, if you burn him, he stopped. He's going to come. He's already come back the next day anyways. Oh, yeah, right. It's a, it's everyday thing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm doing Michael Myers easily. Oh, that one day? But, like, come on. One day you survive one day and you get 10 years of your life. T- the 10 years, for 10 years you got to survive? Nah, like, like, no, like, he doesn't come back after 10 years, right? No, no, every year for 10 years. Oh, no, I don't like this. I don't like that. Oh, well, one time, every <laughs> one year time is for year. 10 years. Yep. So say he co- like he's going to come the same exact day. So say it would be, like, November 14th. He's going to come in November 14th every day, every year for 10 years, and then 10 years is done. Or you could survive Chucky for one year and it'll be over for a year. 365 days. I'm no, not going to lie. Michael Myers. You going to pick Michael Myers? Yeah. I'm not doing Chucky. Chucky caught too many bodies, bro, for real. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I think he... And he don't sleep. I sleep. Yeah, he going to catch you lacking? He going to catch me lacking. Like, one of these days. I'm going to pick Michael Myers also because that one day, I'm loading up. I'm getting That's ready. That's a fact. Yeah, you could... Yeah, prep time. Like, you got some prep... Like, yeah. prepar- preparation. Like, you could... Really like, really like try to uh, be, bo- uh, boost the security on yeah. that shit. Like, but I'm gonna be scared as hell that day because nah, he could come out that closet, just nah, one that just nah, burst out the closet, nah, just run you, through him nah, like nah, I'm cooked. Now nah, you could really, you could really do that, but like, Chucky's, Chucky's like every day. Nah, you that's, that's exhausting. Nah, that's it's not, not worth it, it at all. It's not like worth at least, it, at least, like you stop one day or like you survive that day and. Another year like goes by and like at least you don't have to worry about this nigga coming coming after me for a year, bro. Yeah. Like I, like every single day this nigga's bothering me. I nah, know. bro. <laughs> nah, I'd, I'd go out. I'd go insane. That's facts. That's facts. So you so basically, nah, that's insane. That's just too much work. That's way too much. That's work. Too much work. And Chucky be, he could hide anywhere. He could literally hide anywhere. Hide like anywhere. like I'd rather somebody big as hell that I could see. Yeah. Like, instead of somebody who could literally fit in my air vents and shit, like, go through my fucking, I don't know, go through my, like, I don't know, man. Like, like he just be in, like, your drawers? And in my drawers, like, and he hop out. The nigga got bounced. <laughs> like, what was he that? Like, stabbing you? He start stabbing me in my shit. That's uh, tough. Uh, that's ass. It's case. I can't, bro. Nah, I, I die to a doll. I'd rather die to a fucking a homicidal, ho- homicidal. Homo, how, what's Homicidal. That? Damn, bro. You bad. What's today? wrong with my words today, bro? <laughs> Homicidal maniac. Yeah. That's big as hell. Uh-huh. Six foot. At least, at least in my papers, they're gonna say, yeah, he, he fought him off. <laughs> he, he, he really he put in he put in pain too. Don't 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 make it seem like that. I just bent over and, and let paused him and me. let let him kill me. <laughs> they, they're gonna be like, yo, he fought him off. But nah, they're gonna be like, nah, that nigga died to a doll. A little doll that's like, like what, three feet? That's not three even, feet. Not even. He's like a foot and a half. I'm a little like a bitch. <laughs> so I'd rather, I'd rather die with some dignity. That's respect. That's respect. I ain't gonna lie, bro. 
Thank God them things aren't real. But they could be based off true things. I don't know. I'm not even going to think about it. I mean, it. Chucky, you know Chucky was yeah, based Chucky's on true things. Yeah, Chucky's based on that weird doll in like Florida. I don't know if Michael Myers was based on something. Was, eh, I don't know. Maybe something. I don't know. But you got anything else you want to say, Fritz? You want to tell the people before we end off the Halloween special? Yo, I want to tell y'all this, bro. The, 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 the camera on me? The camera on me? Ah. <laughs> Yo, y'all stay safe out there, bro. How you know Halloween? I get it, bro. You guys like dressing up. You guys like going out to parties. But Halloween is when the demons come out, bro. So how about you keep you guys stay safe, bro? Don't try, you know. Don't don't do too much. Don't try to do too much. I get it, bro. You guys are trying to have fun doing this. You guys have your nice costumes, going out trick or treating. Now, however old you are, bro, you know. But like. As long as you stay safe, bro. That's all that matters. Wise words from Fritz. It's always wise, bro. Wise words wise. from Fritz. But before we end off the pod, I'm going to read out all of our Patreon subscribers. So make sure you all subscribe to our Patreon if you're not already. We got the $3 tier, $5 tier, $10 tier, and we got more content going there every single month. And we're, we're going to start posting more content every other week. So keep tuning to that. So shout out to everybody on our Patreon. Shout out, this is our free subscribers, by the way. Shout out Gangster Gamer GSG. Shout, that's a cool name, brother. Amir <laughs> Al Daraji. I like, the, I like that name, Amir. Muhammad, Amir. why did you cancel your, your membership? I'm going to say that every time until you get back. Shout out to Triz.4K, Taj, Taji Patterson. Shout out to y'all. Hold on, I got to look up the other list. There's a lot of y'all. There's a lot of y'all. Um, where is my Patreon list? Oh. Shout out to Jalen Strong, Donnell Vander, Vander Vandy, Le, Levi O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson, Haba Shuduju Bazuzu did. Wait, 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 uh, wait, no. You, know, you got to do this shit justice, bro. You know, bro, you know that's the name. It's that's right it. above I Heart Bo- Big Booty Freaks, bro. It's Habab Shu Bashushi. He said he acted like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? There's you didn't even try. You did. How about do 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 Like do you? Come on, bro. At least I did something. <laughs> All right, bro. Whatever. Shout out to iHeart Big Booty Freaks, Farmington Fleming, Gene Paul Senior. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. You can continue. No, I was laughing because Jay on Facetime right now, and Jay was like, "Why Fritz look like that?" <laughs> Wait, Jay is on FaceTime. Yeah, hey, Jay, Jay. Wait, hey, yo, shout out Jay, man. Hey, shout out Jay. Jay, say hey, what's up again? Uh, Jay, Jay, who I look like, man? Don't you like R. Kelly? Who I look like, Jay? Crazy. I don't know what- Jay, <laughs> Jay, who, who, Jay, who I look like, man? <laughs> nah, bro. Do we, uh, try another one. You don't see the band aid? Come on. <laughs> That's Nelly, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm done. You said Fifty Cent. I literally. Nelly first. I said Nelly, Nelly, and then you said Jay. Who I look. Oh, oh, I, 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 oh, I, oh, I, oh, I don't know. You probably you don't like. You don't like R. Kelly. There is. No. <laughs> Thank you. What are you talking about R. Kelly for, bro? This nigga want me to look like R. Kelly so bad. All right, go ahead. Man. All right, all right. Wait, are you driving somewhere? Oh, I thought you were driving somewhere. Read the Patreon. Oh, all right. My bad. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga about to start talking on FaceTime and shit. Shout out to Gene Paul Sr. Shout out Jr. Summer McIntyre. Robert Shelton. O'Shea. Drew. Jaquavion. Jesse Rodriguez. Kev. Rob Quash. Cal. Noah DeShield. Isabel Graham. Leek. DJ Willis. Ramon Padilla. Alyssa Smith. Laquella Ingram. My boy from Harlem. Tyrone Bowens and Corey Petty. And King Fry. And lastly... Oh, and also shout out to our second round steals. These are people that are spending the big bucks. We got DJ Khalid, not Muhammad. You freaking unsubscribe. Crazy work. Tamia and Trey Simmons. And lastly, our first round lottery picks, which is the big spenders, the big $10 tier. We got Tavon Cox and Leland Poole. So shout out to everybody who has subscribed to our to Patreon. Yo, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, comment, post notifications, like the video up, and have a happy Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween no more, but make sure y'all are safe and doing well and watch some cartoons for us you want to end it off for it we different they regular no regular gangster